Hola, buenos días, es Nico. Are these the same men that Beyonce wanted us to cater to? Because I refuse, mother! Mother! Not these ones! So today, you know, I got my titties out just because I'm about to go to the gym. I just woke up from a nap after getting my passport stuff handled. Oh, it's, it's more expensive than I thought it would be. <laughs> so I, I needed a little, you know, a little depression nap because bitch, that was expensive. But um, now let's get back to the story. First, if you like LGBT content like this, if you wanna keep it going, if you wanna help me pay off my passport fees, uh, <laughs> follow me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Nico's Aesthetics is going to be in the description down below. Um, if you like thirst traps, follow me on Instagram. If you like video games, follow me on Twitch. And if you like humor slash thirst traps, follow me on um, my Twitters. So my first Twitter is where I post mostly like my thirst traps and like sometimes a joke or two. But my second Twitter, which is my alt, is where I'm actually like very myself because it's my <laughs> curated community. As in, um, it's no longer just the masses that, you know, thirst followed me because of a picture or something. It's people that actually had to go out of their way to follow me because they thought I was interesting. So it's a lot more dialogue and fun. But yeah, I think that's it. Um, other than that, yeah, let's get started. So my hair is out. <laughs> And I didn't really do anything with it. I mean, I fixed it up when I originally woke up to go get my passport stuff done because, you know, take picture. But it's not like I just took a nap, so it's whatever. I'm actually going to get it rebraided um, uh, this weekend so that I can be ready for my photo shoot. Yes, I'm doing a photo shoot. It's not, it's not anything special. Uh, <laughs> a few of the deals that I was making um, has kind of gone silent just because... I didn't really want to represent the product. <laughs> I just, the, the product itself, like I didn't post a lot of pictures in it just because I necessarily, I, I wasn't necessarily feeling it. You know what I mean? Like the actual product, it just wasn't something I would casually wear. So I didn't find myself taking actual pictures in it. So I didn't really keep a good relationship with the company. I just, it, it wasn't a product that I w necessarily would wear. <laughs> Especially because I either take my pictures at like, home or the gym so it's like I'm gonna have to wear it at some point and if I'm not wearing it I'm not gonna be able to take a picture in it but yeah that's essentially all that's really happening with me I'm just taking a um a photo shoot with someone who shot my friend Talon um I'm not gonna plug him because I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna plug him just because he's already famous enough <laughs> um but yeah let's get started essentially today's video is being brought to us by Patreon one of my followers and friends, Solomon, actually recommended this video. So this video is going to be going over. I know, I know, I ran long. I, I didn't get to the point. Uh, <laughs> this video is going to be over breaking up and how to properly do it, like breaking up etiquette. So, so, you know what? Actually, so I don't have a lot of experience getting dumped. That is not a flex. It's just because I am preemptive. <laughs> If I feel like things aren't going right, I'm one of those people that's like, I fall madly in love with somebody and then I'll slowly start to realize if they're right for me or not. So then I start to cut it off. And at that point, people are already like, oh, well, your vibe, you know, because I be, I be making the men that I be with feel like kings <laughs> just because I'm a natural people pleaser and I'm a listener. So I'll just let you talk about yourself. I'll hype you up. I'll get you all lit and shit, that kind of thing. So it's usually left field when I say, okay, but there's problems that I don't think I would like to actively work through. You know what I mean? Because in certain situations, I'm one, I, I recognize that a lot of relationships recently, people find one thing that they don't like and then they'll just end everything. And it's a waste of a perfectly good relationship because gay men are not used to dating because we grew up in the closet. So we didn't have those adolescent years of trying to figure out how to navigate romance and relationships. So it's kind of just you going think of it like you going into middle school all over again when you're trying to figure out emotions and feelings and do i actually like this person or am i just horny that kind of thing so so it, i'm not one of those people that like will break up with somebody over the smallest thing i'm one of those people that slowly realizes like are they toxic are they hypocritical do they um not have actual conversation skills do we not have the same hobbies the same hobbies aren't necessarily a deal breaker if you still mesh but if you don't properly mesh and you have nothing to truly connect over it's a little difficult to 
built that bridge into a relationship. So I'm one of those people that's like, okay, well, I'm in the honeymoon phase and then I get out of it and then I realize, oh, we're not actually going to work out. So I've gotten used to, <laughs> I've gotten used to breaking up with people in that sense because, I mean, I've been dumped before. Like, trust me, I'm not perfect. I've never put the image out there that, oh, Nico is just all this and that. No, bitch, just because you got like big titties and a fat ass does not mean a relationship will work. But I've been dumped before, so I also have experience on that end. But <laughs> in my opinion, one of the easiest ways to end a relationship is just be honest. And I understand. I understand you're like, but baby, it's easier to just ghost, you know? Let me just fade out. Let me not just tell you anything. That's one avenue. <laughs> That's an avenue that I've used before. But my ghosting tactics is not, okay, I block you on everything and then I just never speak to you again. When I quote unquote ghost, I have conversation with the person and I slowly stop flirting with them. Like it's just casual conversation and then we talk less and then we just stop messaging because I'm one of those people that I actively message people that I like. Like I be messaging Trey back to back to back to back to back when I wanna talk because I like conversation and if I have the opportunity to initiate the conversation without being clingy, I'm going to do it. So if I'm carrying the conversation majority of the time and then I just stop initiating the conversation, the conversation will slowly fade out. So that's how it works in my benefit because at that point, I've been showing you that I've been the one initiating the contact and that I'm the one holding this like vocal bridge between us. And if it falls through after I stop initiating that, it's no longer on me because that means you weren't doing your part to keep this conversation alive because it takes two to tango. Because it takes two to tango. Okay, <laughs> so that's one way. But another way is being direct about it. I, I rarely am direct because direct usually comes with confrontation and I'm not good with confrontation. But when I am direct with somebody, I am very direct with somebody. It usually has to be when I am at my wits end and I do not want to speak to this person anymore. I have told people legitimately, I do not like you as a person. I don't agree with you fundamentally. We do not like mesh like that. Not to mention you are a mean person. I feel like when you're being direct about it and you're confronting them in that situation to say, I think we should break up, you need to be gentle with your words are also going to lead this like interaction thinking oh well they're just rude and oh they're just that just that no if you say i have an issue with this that this and that baby you need to have the evidence you need to have situations that they did that caused you to be annoyed the the microaggressions you need to remember it because in the moment you come in and you're telling them this and that and this and that and you completely lose your train of thought because you're trying not to instigate an argument. You're trying to have it at a calm conversation, but emotions are already high because you're ending something that could have led somewhere. So when it comes to that, like I said, you need to be very descriptive and you need to be very direct. I would also recommend, I understand people are like, oh, don't break up with people through, through text, but no. No, 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 no. I'm one of those people because I'm not very vocal and I don't like confrontation. But if it's through text, I can sit down, read and write exactly what I'm feeling because I have a moment to actually sit back and think. So I'm one of those people's like, if you're going to break up during text, you need to actually have a lengthy text. Don't just be like, it's over. No, just like I said with the conversation, you need to sit down and you need to think about the points that you're going to make saying, oh, well, I really don't think this is working out. It'll at least give them closure. And I understand this sounds like an essay in a book report and bitch, why do I have to sit down and think about why I want to break up with somebody I just don't want to be with them? Because you need to realize that when you are leaving a relationship, when you are leaving a talking situationship, you are not the only person here. You are not the only person whose emotions have been invested, possibly, because you know some people will be faking shit. But you are not the only one who has emotions in this scenario. Meaning, you need to be considerate of the person that you are leaving. Because at the end of the day, they still have closure issues. A lot of people still need closure when they're getting broken up with. So if you sit down and say, this is exactly why I don't think we're working out. I don't think these are workable or I, I'm not willing to work on this kind of thing. Like certain situations, you can work through it. Certain situations, it's just a no, it's just not gonna work. So if I cannot work through this scenario with you or I don't wanna put the extra energy that's necessary to work through this scenario with you, I'm gonna tell you exactly what the scenario is. And at that point, they'll have their closure. They may be upset, but is, as long as you've done it respectfully, there should not be any extra issues. At that point, if you said it respectfully, if you said, I don't think this is going to work, here's why, and they still feel a type of way, at that point, it's on them to get their own closure because you gave it to them. You gave it to them. <laughs> but other than that, I would say my last tip on breaking up 
once you break up with somebody, even if you want to continue being friends with them, because you know, some people just have that vibe, you know, like they're just a homie. You just want to hang out with them and still have contact because they have good conversation, but you don't want it to be romantic. You need to take time away. You need to take time away. And this is not from, oh no, lingering emotion. No, bitch. Because I'm one of those people that's like, once I'm done with you, flip. If we're not romantic, we're not romantic anymore. It's not going to be sexual tension. It's not going to be anything. I'm one of those people that's like, oh, we can just go straight to friends in like three days. <laughs> in like three days, I will continue to talk to you like you're a casual friend. But people still tend to have emotions. So here's the thing. I've been told that because I can do that, it makes it seem like I didn't care in, to begin with. But in reality, it's because I have emotional barriers. So once I come down from like the honeymoon phase and I actually sit down to think, mm, is this gonna work out? I can slowly switch those switches off to be like, okay, but I still enjoy your conversation and company. So I would like casual conversation. So at that point, you need to take a break. This is um, a lesson for me to you. You need to just back off. You need to give them time to process and give them time to move forward because it is a lot of work for some people who are more emotionally inclined to get over a romantic scenario. So you need to actually give them a moment, tell them, reach out to you when they're ready to still have conversation and contact and you have to wait. You have to be respectful because once again, you're not the only one that's involved in this. So you need to sit back and give them their time to process things. And if they choose to come back to you as a friend, then that's where you go. You go from there and you lay down your ground rules so that it's not blurry when they do come back. Because I've been in a situation where I've allowed somebody to come back into my life and then it gets blurry again because romantic feelings are not finished. So once they come back to you saying, okay, I've gotten over it, we can move on. You need to set your ground rules what you will and will not talk about. Do not get sexual, do not prolong hugs, do not cuddle, just have casual conversations, meet in social areas if you wanna be friends and move from there. Like you need to make sure that that is legitimately over and done and a friendship is the only thing that's in the crossfire. But yeah, that's my opinion on how to break up with people and how to move on from a breakup. Um, <laughs> I might make a video about how to process a breakup if you're getting broken up with, but this is my advice if you're breaking up with somebody. But also remember, make sure that it is an issue that is not workable, or if at least if it is workable, make sure that you truly do not want to put the energy in to working through it. Because a lot of situations, it's just petty shit. Like in my younger days, it was just petty shit. Like I accept that, I, I acknowledge it, and you just move on from there. But yeah, drop down your opinions down below. Tell me how you process picking up with somebody. What makes you think that things are not workable? Like what's the final straw in your last relationships that made you say, okay, I need to end this. And how would you say you handled it? Would you say that you did something similar that I suggested or what's your own method to breaking up with somebody gently? Gently, <laughs> don't just be like, oh, I just told her it was over, but yeah. So yeah, drop down your opinions down below and let me know if any of this was helpful. And once again, a quick thank you to all my patrons on Patreon and a quick shout out to my third eye tier patrons. Your support means everything to me and helps me do this a lot more smoothly. I will also be listing this week's live stream topic in case anybody wants to join in on the fun. I'll see you guys there.